I do think that they need to start adjusting their approach on building a system where intelligence gets priced into every action that they do. And they could almost be the centralized marketplace for a bunch of different applications that want to go there and they can start partnering up with all these horizontal SaaS or application companies, uh, try to find a way where every inter AI interaction has a somewhat of a cost and be the cheapest meter that runs across all these different types of functions. But it is a very tall ask because when you have all these ecosystems, like uh, I mentioned that um, like Meta controls billions of people spending their time on their apps. You have also Gemini essentially trying to sell, they're not selling a standalone AI product. They're building a system where everything is into their ecosystem and they have the cheapest meter to use AI across the board. And that's exactly why their Gemini 3 is such a chef's kiss essentially to the model race because <laughs> they have the cheapest economics for it. And also they have the best distribution. Those are the two levers to pull for model quality. So I do think that opening app probably will have to start pivoting towards more intelligence than committing to $1.4 trillion of spend over the course of the next decade. Mm -hmm. And I think there is also a new somewhat Sam Altman premium risk now that's being signed by the market. Oracle is the best example of that because uh, they're taking one of the largest data center build outs in, in, in the industry, mostly to support open AI. And they've gotten penalized the past two months because of that Sam Altman premium risk. So now it's not gonna be an easy lever to pull of just spend, spend, spend. They have to be more conscious of what they're spending money towards. And they kind of need to have the meter of how they're gonna pull the profitability a lot sooner than probably Sam thought he had to six months ago.